Hey guys, so before I make the February update to the tier list, I wanted to uh, kind of talk about what the point of the tier list is and then uh, respond to some uh, feedback from other players and really uh, try and hammer a few points home that I think are really important. So uh, I made this tier list uh, at the end of January. I'm going to update it for February. And basically the concept of the tier list is these first four are one of each color hero and then western queen is added um, and then from this so basically you're, you're gonna force build these first four uh, regardless of what state of the game you're in uh, but then in the A tier there's three of each color but they're actually uh, organized alphabetically right they're not organized in order of priority and as you play through the game or as you've already built your roster and you build these four uh, you're gonna have extra resources and you're gonna be pooling in the meantime and so you're gonna have a good idea of what your of what your roster requires after that so the the reason the A tier has three of each color is you know so for example you know Gabriel uh, Medusa Cassandra Morgan uh, you know Idun Naga, I mean, they're all support, right? So, you know, you wouldn't force build a color of a support. So that's the whole point of that. And then the B heroes are niche, but they're actually also like really good and they're going to be moving around tiers, right? So that's like the whole point of the tier list um, in case you didn't watch the video. And I'll summarize that. But then um, let's go even deeper here. So before I didn't show my uh, full, you know, spreadsheet here out of shame, right? But the whole point of me making these videos is because uh, I'm trying to win Champions League at some point without spending too much. And one of the things I always find in these games is I'm like a hardcore tryharder uh, in every game. And, and mostly I play like competitive games like, you know, Hearthstone, Legends of Runeterra, Marvel Snap, you know, games with like more skill rather than pay to win. And so one of the things I always find when I play these kinds of games is about like a thousand dollars in and and you know a few months in i'm always like super regretting the decisions i've made so i think the one line summary of this tier list and most of my content is like if i could show this to a six month version ago of myself or new players or existing players you know how can you unlock like more power and more raw gains from you know content and um i another thing I noticed in these communities is like anytime a, a tier list is made where someone's trying to be objective because the thing is in other games like competitive games like uh, League of Legends or you know Hearthstone or Overwatch or whatever like the concept of a competitive tier list where heroes are number one is just a fact but with games like these you have these uh, you know justice warriors who who want to pretend like every hero is viable for everyone you know like don't hurt anyone's feelings um and i've played you know 10 plus 20 plus gotcha games uh pretty seriously so you always get these like defenders or whatever and i never really showed this uh spreadsheet out of shame right but basically i've been you know trying to accumulate data on like literally every single thing because for me it gives me a lot of stress and anxiety to see like an offer and then you know not know what the best thing to buy is um, and in my journey of playing this game I've been in two guilds now and the first one is like a Zerg guild at the top it's called Anka Rebirth and um, there's like four four versions of it and I went into the guild um, they basically recruit all of the whales, you know, I wanted to see like uh, How they discussed how they collaborated. Uh, I read all of their guides shout out to uh, Lulu the potato Who writes like a bunch of great guides? I went through all the guides, you know, I recorded everything she wrote basically I learned from all of these players basically like the most progressed players in the game and, and my but you know the guild I'm, I'm in and the guild I love is uh, Arxiel. I probably butchered that but Arxiel is uh, well noted for um, the top player in Arxiel, his name is Papa, shout out, is um, one of the only players in the game who's winning Champions League without being VIP 15+. plus. I think he's VIP 13. 
and he just won twice in a row more and he's consistently beating better players through like better skill and so I've looked at the tier lists for both Anka Rebirth and from RCL and Papa you know to formulate my own opinions like I'm not here just you know making making some flower tier list like this is big boy mythic heroes this is like salt of the earth boots on the ground win or lose or die you know like we're, we're I'm I'm going very serious mode here and you know I, I hear all these people going you know well Medusa helped me clear campaign 39-4 yay you know Medusa's S tier and no one gives a shit about campaign progress like the fact of, of this game unfortunately is that they haven't made the campaign rewards good enough to justify pushing all we care about in this game are medals okay because medals get the honeys or or the or the hunks if if you're female you know the medals are what attract you know um whatever you're into and and so i i just want to point out that this tier list is not first of all i'm not hiding this tier list is I, I i mean for sure it's the best tier list around but it's made it's not made to like appeal to all demographics or whatever this tier list is made to help you build the best roster period and it's gonna be the best resource and anyone who's like trying to hate on it or saying like hey eh, what about these opinions or what about you know campaign with uh hades or whatever you know it's like no like you're you're just you're just way off and you're actually I, I see people in these games all the time and you're actually hurting the cause by by hating on projects like this because the cause is to help all new players whether they're free to play or big spenders build the best rosters possible and so the last part of this video I'm hoping kind of you know sets the debate to rest so the main way I'm building the tier list moving forward after using you know Lulu and, and Papa's advice as like a very good starting point and you know they're both like way better players than me they've both won Champions Arena so I could have even copy pasted their list but I didn't want to do that but this part is where the the bulk of the tier list is and so you know no one gives a shit about PvE as soon as you accept that you'll be better off in this world like no you know I, I saw this this thread in discord where someone posted a campaign pve tier list only and then like 20 guys are just 20 people are just yay yay high five good job bro it's not a good job winning pve is like winning the special olympics nobody gives a shit about pve people care about medals the people at the top of the game are flexing medals right people are flexing medals and so uh, the two main modes in the game, you're getting medals. I mean, Champions Arena is the biggest flex of all if you really want to grow your EP. And that's what it's all about. And then Void Invader is also PV, PV, uh, PvP. But the thing is, all of the other modes in the game too, like Bifrost I haven't seen yet, but Valhalla, you know, whatever you're getting medals through, they're all actually technically PvP because you're playing squad versus squad. The only difference is, you know, PV pve like campaign and, and all that the the monsters scale up right so certain heroes like you know marduk for example or lilith aren't going to be good in those because um but um let me actually show you something really and so first of all so this is me here um logging in oh sh am i about to miss no good okay, whack offer okay so there's a leaderboard um this is me i'm in second place yay me right congratulations me my main heroes for pve campaign nobody cares by the way but i'm just sharing i'm just proving a point are some of the best pvp heroes in the game basically my tier list plus oda right favorite baby boy now guess what i'm at the top of the campaign i've been at the top of the campaign for the longest time right um and then this guy came in and now he's at the top by far why because he's vip you know 16. why am i at the top because i'm i was vip 12 now i'm 13. um i am beating other like vip 14s and stuff but why are we at the top it's because we're all vip 12 plus and the people below aren't my point is 
the biggest uh, factor for progressing in campaign is actually how much you spend, right? Like this hero, this guy right here, he has um he's level 366. I'm level uh like 312 or something. Um, he can he he's at 24 million total squad power. I'm at 13 million. He can face roll any five random heroes on on the on the table and beat me in PVE campaign. He he can follow my tier list and build all of the best PVP heroes, and he'll still own me in campaign. Campaign just does not matter. Like nobody gives a shit about campaign, and um and continually bringing up like campaign or or especially campaign because at least bosses give you compounding snowballing uh, rewards um, it's just it's just not the right way to think about it so this list is for people who want to think about the right think about the game in like a power maxing sense of way which I consider the right way and so I've actually put in the work here I've actually recorded uh, all all of the top uh, multiple winners of, of Champions Arena and then um, if you see here this is CA and then this is CA February 3rd I have another update to make recently I've been traveling so I haven't got to that but basically what I'm doing it is I'm recording every roster that all of the top players have been using right and then I'm I'm calculating their use rate here on the right for both the five squad setups and the four squad setups I haven't shared this in the past because I thought there was more skill in this game and and this is kind of um what's the word like uh, good players who look at this could benefit from it without doing the work so I was being a little shysty and secretive but but now I'm just depressed because um, it looks like I'm gonna have to spend five grand plus so I'm just sharing this to show how like the sausage is made but now the next video I make with the February in the February tier list is going to have the updated rosters for all of these players plus their usage rates here. So going through this list, like people want to tell me, you know, oh, um, who's, who's a good example here? One moment. Uh, like people want to tell me like Hades is on the same level as YSS or people want to tell me, you know, YSS is on the same level as, as Leo, right? And Leo has 0% use rate. Hades has 0% use rate in, um, in both Champions Arena and probably Void Invader, uh, because you know Champions Arena is very close to Void Invader, and then and then they want to tell me you know these heroes are on the same level as Yi Xin YSS, wh who's used like 95% by all of the top rosters in the game. That's just a crock of shit. Like that's just total bullshit. And anyone giving that advice to any level of player uh, should should really have their IGG account. Um, revoked and, and deleted honestly um, now and the other thing too is like I'm on your side here like I love Leo he's one of the favorite you know he's one of my favorite heroes I built I gave him B tier because he has the the niche of uh, blocking frontal damage I know like Papa's using him in his roster I know as I update these champions arena and the meta evolves uh, you know the the roster like yeah Papa has him here so oh okay so it actually looks like uh, see, I just found out a, a bug in my list. It looks like because I'm shortening this to Leo, the counts aren't happening properly. Yeah, okay, so he's being used. So I'll, I'll fix this. Like, I'll, I'll look into this and fix this. There's a few things uh, like this being, you know, being used wrong. But, like, I'll concede that, you know, almost every hero in this game is well-designed and, like, has a niche. Just because something is S or A doesn't mean that, you know, B is garbage or B is unusable. We're actually going to find in the future, like... A lot of B heroes being used in stronger strategies and then they're gonna move up to A they might even move up to S which is very unlikely but I really believe in in this game that there's always it's not even I believe I just know for a fact that in this game there's a most powerful five-man roster there's a most powerful ten-man uh, roster I come from a background of like a lot of strategy games where you can use AI and and you know computers to generate like uh, game theory optimal lineups um, to maximize like your, your win rate and and if you put all the heroes in the game together and you had an AI just run through like the best five man team the best 10 man team the best 15 man team and, and just kept uh, you know iterating it and and playing against itself you would have an objective uh, top tier list and I'm very confident 
that this tier list uh, for the current PvP metagame, because I'm building it from from a bunch of data, I'm very confident. Like this resource is just much better than than anything out there, and I'm doing so many hours of work for free. It's just not even close. So you know, the people who are sitting here saying, um, you know, eh, you didn't factor in like PVE, like you know, everything's a snowflake. Like those, you're actually hurting the cause of of progressing, you know, knowledge and and um, and all that in the game. So if, if you know, like at some point, if this list gets enough visibility and a lot of the super sick high VIP like PVP players come in and say like, you know, this is this, this is that. I mean, I'll listen and I'll I'll update and it's always a dialogue. But I can't really engage in dialogue with people who are you know, just like bringing up things that are just just way off the mark and, and actually harmful like they're useless and harmful because they're distracting us from from the real goal here uh the real goal here is to have like this objective set of of best heroes for for people to invest in and the more i talk about this i realize this is just some silly mobile game so what am i doing with my life but uh hopefully you know some of you enjoy the work and we can get a good discussion going thanks for watching this went on longer than i thought it would